now the next section is our services section and we have uh, kind of two sections inside that like for in the first one we have this animated um, progress bars and uh, uh, text on the left and after that we have these icon boxes with title and some text uh, what we, we will be doing is we will be designing both of these but for this progress bar i will uh, copy and paste that from this um, blog from educative and i will provide a link to this uh, blog post in the description so make sure to copy and paste from here <clears throat> okay so what we need to do is i will open this up and i will have a section with the class name of section and inside that we need a container with the class name of services S -E -R -V services underscore container and inside that we need dot services underscore top dot services underscore bars and right next to this dot services underscore text so inside these bars if you guys can see we have um, right here we have these two uh, titles and uh, what i will do for that first of all let me close this uh, i will i have did one change to this title secondary and primary is i had removed the about underscore in front of these and i have made the exact same changes inside the css so we can use these uh, title so right in in here i will paste this and the first one is our services and the second is services we provide Yeah, and right after this dot services underscore parts underscore container and inside that we need uh, this um, this one so what I'll do is I will copy this and okay paste this over here so this is a uh, one of our progress bar but we need uh, some text and this percentage on top of each bar so what i will do is i will wrap this dot dot uh, service underscore bar this is a single bar underscore container or i'll call it a wrapper paste this and right above this progress bar i will have um, a div tag or maybe we will have a p tag and design i need some non breakable space and nbsp again and i will write 90% if you guys can see yeah we have that bar right here <clears throat> so what we need to do is first of all i will copy the css from here or i can click over here and paste this inside our css file and i will change this so this will be 100 percent the height will be 15 pixels let's try this and i want border radius of 10 rem and i want um, border radius of 10 rem as well save and yeah nothing changes 
but something will change with our JavaScript so I will copy this JavaScript and paste this inside a script tag paste and now you guys will see yeah you guys can see the changes but it is very slow so I will we will just make some changes to our JavaScript so I'll remove this comment this comment and this comment as well so it is taking very long what I will do is I will choose 600 milliseconds and it will take a bit time and yeah it is faster now but increment okay I will just make it 300 let's see this one the height is this the width will be 90% progress bar and the duration and where is that percentage coming from so the dot width progress bar progress bar Mm, this is which which one is document dot progress so dot progress and the width dot width we haven't specified width for that okay it's a zero percent it will start from zero and dot progress plus increment if progress is 90 okay so we need it 90 percent save and it will goes until here as you guys can see this is 90 percent so <clears throat> the same way we can just copy and paste these wrappers so copy paste and paste but one thing as you guys noticed the only the first one is working so for that what we will do is we will make some changes to this so query selector all and what I will do is progress bar dot for each we will name this bar and we will run this uh, function not like this but this will be an arrow function I will cut this from here and paste it inside the for each loop and instead of the progress bar I will remove replace this with the bar save and now you guys can see all of the progress bars are animating so we need some more changes uh, in in the CSS so progress bar wrapper I will copy this class paste and do a margin top of two rem of each and inside that we have a paragraph so dot inside that we have a paragraph and I need to margin bottom of 0.8 rem so make sure we have some space between the text and the progress bar now I will design development and um, support I will change this and yes you guys can see now what we need to do is we have to um, two child elements inside this so I will go over here give this width of 100% display of flex and for the bars I'll give this a width of 100 uh, not 100% but 50% save 
and now you guys can see these are 50 percent but uh, in here it's not 50 mm, so what we need to do is i will give this 40 percent but for this section i will write some a reusable uh, css so for each i want margin top of 100 not 100 but 10 rem which is 100 pixels and it will have some space like this you guys can see now inside the text i will do paragraph and i want lorem of 40 this is a dummy text uh, you can call it a text placeholder and now you guys can see but to the services text i will give this as width of 60 percent save and yes you guys can see but since this has a of this what i need to do is i will give this a 50 percent and of margin left of 3 rem so it can have some space between and just like this and you guys can see in the image so we need to change something that is lowering 20 more save and like this right after this p i will add a break tag p another one and lorem of 22 save and yes we have this our services uh, section and right after this we have um, this icon box Now what next is uh, this section so what we, we can do is I will look for some good icons so what I will search um, SVG icons code or maybe ready to use SVG I will provide a link to good svg icons in the in the description below so make sure to check that as well so yeah right here and we can search i can set or maybe not to download mm -hmm. mm, okay i will maybe we can search it manually like this like this one this is for the first icon which is ideas so let's go ahead and start <coughs> and what i will do is uh, right after this uh, services top i will say dot services underscore row inside that we need dot service uh, service underscore column and i need four of them so in the first one let me grab an icon from here i'll copy this svg and paste this save and, and let's have a look how does it looks like where it goes i'll refresh hmm. Uh, maybe not this one. So 
so ready to use SVG or maybe I can go for hero icons these are SVG icons so we can use that in our project I will remove this And from here you can search as well. So I will search for light, something like that. And yeah, you guys can see sun, bulb and stuff like that. So copy SVG and paste this one over here. Save. And you guys will see a really big icon. We will set the width and height for this in a minute. But right after this SVG, we need um, h4 dot service underscore title, and it is uh, innovative ideas. And right after this, we have paragraph with the class name of service underscore p, and I want lorem of 30. Save. And let's have a look yeah we have got everything here so I will remove this and copy paste this uh, service column three more times so make sure we have four of them yeah we have let's go ahead and first style this so we have mm, a class called with uh, w hyphen six so i will write dot w hyphen six i'll give this a width of four rem and a height of four rem as well seven now let's have a look yeah you guys can see these nice little icons so let's make it a bit more bigger maybe go with six rems and now it looks nice and what else we need is with this title I need some margin from the top and bottom so margin so 1.2 rim from the top and bottom and 0 rim from the left and right so make sure we have some space between the icons and the text so let's go with one rim and now it's time to style the services row so copy this and this will be by default uh, responsive because we will be using css grids so i'll go with width of 100 percent display of grid and grid template columns repeat and auto fit mm, I want min and maximum width of uh, 240 rem 24 rem and one fractional unit and I want grid gap of 3 rem save and yes you guys can see but the text is uh, way too much so I will I remove some from here from here as well save and now it looks somehow perfect yep and <coughs> dot service underscore column I want text align in the center everything is in the center as we have in the picture and service P 
I need the font size of 1.4 rem and it looks perfect now so the service row it needs some margin top of uh, 2 rem let's try 2 maybe we should increase it yes we need to increase it let's go with 5 and yeah it looks good now uh, we just need to, cho to change the uh, icons and the text so the second one is uh, UX design I will look for an icon it will be brush or something like that so okay design paint brush maybe we can go with this so I see the second one it's here remove this or replace this and UX design let's have a look yeah it looks better third one is photography and branding so right here I will search for camera mm, replace this one save and photography mm. Mm, stone or something like that branding maybe again okay we can use this one so replace this and replace this text as well so branding save and now let's have a look and let me decrease the size of this by five mm, and let's add some more margin top of seven let me show you the responsiveness as you guys can see this is by default responsive yeah so this is what we have so far